Alrighty, let's go over how to draw Cthulhu. Uh, it's going to be very simple, easy for beginners, so let's get started, alright? I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to start drawing Cthulhu's face, which is going to be his most noticeable part. So, curve down over here for his eye, for his brow. He's going to have that angry face going on. Go down over here, curve up for the other eye area. Out over here, and down for the eye on the inside. Got like a little bit of a peanut shape. I know sometimes you're not supposed to do it that way, but um, you know, I'm saying like that's the closest thing we can do as of right now. Line over here, line over here. Cheekbone out here, cheekbone out here. Down right there for kind of a tentacle because he has these tentacles coming out of his face. Um, if you're a Cthulhu fan, please hit that like button. It's gonna make me, you know, make it a lot easier for me. It's gonna send it out to the algorithm more. I'm gonna go over here now. Another tentacle coming out of his face over here. Curve over here. Keep going. Kind of that other side of that tentacle. And I'm just kind of making waviness here. There's no per se rhyme or reason to why I'm I'm kind of doing it the way I'm doing it. Uh, if I was to draw it again, I would draw these lines a little bit differently. So just kind of keep that in mind. Curve over here. Line over here, down. Down. Line over here in. Right on. Let's go over here for the brow. Boom, right there. Just very simple brow. Curl over here on this side. And then we're going to pull a line up right here for his head. A little bit of a point at the top, and we're going to pull down. Cool. Over here on this side, we're gonna pull maybe another little tentacle here, like some smaller ones, to kind of add some detail to him. Don't forget, if you like this kind of stuff, hit the subscribe, click the bell notification. All this stuff is for beginners. It's relatively simple. They're all short videos. They're all about eight minutes. Okay, so definitely do that. There's no harm in subscribing and clicking the bell notification. Of course, line over here, a thinner line underneath the eyes. If you want to draw a little bit of detail right here, you can draw a circle right there for maybe maybe some eyes he has inside of his head or something. That's just like an extra bonus point thing. Right on. Let's draw a little bit of his body. So we're going to draw a line out for kind of his traps, you know, his trapezius muscles. Curve over here for his shoulders. He's got pretty broad shoulders down right there for the maybe tricep bicep area curl over here underneath oops a daisy finish that tentacle right there this is going to be for his pectoralis muscles curve up line over here line over here by the way shout out to whoever i forgot what the name was of uh whoever requested Cthulhu if you have any requests let me know I really want to know about that if you have any requests for a drawing lesson just put it in the comments right now and I'll let you know if and if I've already drawn it I will link you to the drawing but chances are people have a lot of creative ideas um, right over here see these lines I'm curving around they're him coming out of the water basically it's kind of what I want to express there so we're just kind of curving it like right here the lines they're relatively thin lines there's some we did a lot when I was a caricature artist uh, I would kind of throw these curved lines everywhere like around like that's a shortcut for like coming out of the water essentially let's go over here and draw the wings that he has right over here up curve up spike back down over here out over here line over here for kind of the outer part of that wing let's go over here to this side pull up inward if this isn't your style and you want to draw something cuter out over here down and then 
that wing goes off the page as well. If you want to draw something cuter, um, definitely check out the free ebook we have. It is in the description. It is uh, pretty much step by step how to draw something cute with the proportions of cute, right? So, like, how do you draw something that's cute, right? Is it a small head, a big head, or whatever? Um, no, it's actually a big head with bigger eyes, but smaller nose and normal. It is all about proportions. That's how, like, you make the Incredible Hulk look huge. You shrink the size of his head, and his body looks bigger, right? And, he, and that's when you see him alone on a paper without anything to compare. You're like, oh, that, that character must be huge. Similar with, uh, you know, cuteness. Um, I made an entire ebook about it. Um, it is six pages, very short ebook, and it's all visual. It's all charts. So it's very simple. You just look at it, and boom, you'll know how to draw cute, like, for the most part. So definitely go take a look at that if you're interested. Uh, it is in the description. That's the only... It's completely free. Completely 100% free. The only thing is you have to go into the description to uh, check it out, to find it. But definitely take a look at that if uh, you're interested in that. I'm gonna go down over here, out, down over here, out, right there for kind of the inner portions of the wing. Down right here and down right here. Just gonna connect those lines. Alrighty. Line right here, line right here for kind of muscles here. Curve, curve right here, curve right here for the bicep, down here for kind of the abdominal area. And I would say for extra details, throw in some more like thinner right here, but crinkling, right? Because his skin is all, you know, oceany and odd and stuff like that. You kind of throw in some crinkling here on the side. Basically some striations, some extra thin striations because when it's thin, it's gonna look like extra detail, right? And it won't get in the way of the overall mixing. Like right here, where I'm like, oh, okay, there'll be like some thin little lines. Just mostly around areas that crunch and squish. So around joints is a big thing. Um, and then similar around, you know, the, the tentacles that move. But, uh, and maybe over here where the eyes furrow. Anything that crinkles or something like that. I want to thank you very much. Uh, you guys are art addicts. You guys are addicted to art. So I'm going to call everybody art addicts. I'm going to see if that sticks. Um, but thank you so much, art addicts. You are amazing. And I want to thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor and share the video with a friend or share it on Twitter or share it anywhere that you share anything. Um, and thank you so much. You're amazing. Reach out to me. Say hi. I'm very easy to reach. And I'll see you later, okay? Talk to you soon.